Well, you knew this topic wasn't going away. The international rugby team will now ban transgender women, at least temporarily, from playing in the women's league. I say temporarily because the league is going to implement this ban while the organization does more research. This comes on the heels of the bombshell ruling from the International Swimming Federation, FINA. FINA is changing its policy to bar transgender women, who transitioned after the age of 12, from female competitions. Obviously, there are a lot of folks praising these decisions, and there are a lot of folks frowning on these decisions, like Skylar Baylor, the first openly transgender Division I NCAA swimmer. Skylar tells ABC News, in order to exclude the trans women, you have to police all women's bodies, and that will lead to the destruction of the women's category. Trans women are not a threat to women's sports. Transphobia is. <laughs> Typical. Now listen, I know we all like to pick and choose when we want to apply science, but it is scientifically proven that biological males produce 20 times more testosterone than biological women. Thus, they'll naturally be stronger, bigger, and faster. I would actually be curious to know if the proper dosage of testosterone depends on the patient's biological sex or their gender identity. You see, that's the problem for me, Skylar. You say in order to exclude trans women, you have to police all women's bodies. Those are your words. You yourself are painting the picture that shows there are biological differences between our bodies. And yet you wanna argue there should be no meaningful differences between trans women and biological women? Skylar, you wanna be free to who you want to be. And you're all about promoting your hyper-individualism, and yet you are forcing the acceptance of your transgender ideology by saying transphobia is the threat? Forgive me, but your feelings on the inside do not determine biological sex. You best bet I feel like I am 18 on the inside, but in all biological reality, I'm 33. You best bet I feel like a supermodel strutting in at six foot three, but in biological reality, I'm only five foot seven. Why do your transgender beliefs get to dictate athletics for everyone else? You tell me.